Romeo. I had to see a mind peace of mind. Look, I know you want to punch me, and we're right outside of A&E, so go on. I just want to say... I'm sorry. You told us Cher was in a bad way, and I didn't even listen. None of us took proper notice, did we? No, but none of us are to blame. Well, the upshot is she hates me, and you won't get a welcome either. She said she don't want to see you. I'm sorry, and thanks, Silver. I don't care what he says. That girl needs all the support she can get from us right now. Mercedes, you're better with this stuff than I am. She wouldn't want to see me anyway. Of course she wants you. She's only ever wanted you. In my own time. OK. <laughs> Are fine. I have an outpatient appointment for counselling. And family and friends that you can reach out to. Yeah, which is why I am off to Jade's. This is the first time you've ever mentioned this Jade. Well, she's my one true mate, so just do one. Go on, that's it. Get angry. Take it all, all on me so you don't do something that you later regret. Why did you do it? It was so stupid. As soon as I got in trouble, I just wanted to get out of it. I frightened myself. I didn't intend. I wanted the pain to stop. I'm so grateful to be here. Me too. And despite what you think, Cher, I... I do love you. How can you? I've never been your enemy. It was all in your head, you fighting for your dad's attention. Where is he? This is about me and you. We've both hurt people hit rock bottom and the only reason I'm here living this life today is because my family has forgiven me time and time again. I don't deserve forgiveness. We are so similar. You and me, we self-love, self-destructive, we crave man's admiration. But the difference is, when I've gone off the rails, my family has been there to scoop me up. And you haven't had that until now. You need to accept it, Cher. You're my daughter. And we have all got you now. What about Dad? Look, I... I don't know, but... I'm sure he's gonna come around. Why should he? I have done enough to push him away. He won't forgive me, will he? Sorry. Hello? Yeah, it's Bobby's mum. Is everything OK? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there right away. Where do you think you're going? I've done too much damage. Yeah, because I've been the worst dad. I wanted to think that what happened was an accident because the alternative is just it's too painful. To think that I've let you down that badly. I brought this all on myself. You felt pushed out, on and off with Romeo, battered by online hate. I had a friend, Jade. 
It was her idea about lacing the drink. What? What kind of a friend is that? I know. You were toxic. And yes, yeah, she's ghosted me. If I had been there for you, properly, I mean, then you wouldn't have been sucked in by these online weirdos. But you're my kid. It's my job to take care of you. I never learned how to be a proper dad. I had no role models to abusive fathers. Look at other people like Tony and Darren and it comes so naturally to them. It comes so naturally to you? You're amazing, Dad. I turn my back on you. Then you... No! It wasn't that. It was one rash second that I will regret forever. Promise. Yes. And I'm not scared of losing out to Mercedes now. She's made it impossible not to love her. And I love you so much, Dad. I love you too. <laughs> I am going to be a better dad, the dad that you need me to be. And a team for my stepmom. <laughs> Here we are. Today is the start of us being a happy family. Okay? Normality. So, young lady, let's get you home. Hey, did you find Cher? <sighs> Mercedes, I'm so sorry about everything. No need to apologize. Welcome home. How's Bobby? Oh. I had to pick him up from school before. He's been crying his eyes out and he won't say why. Oh, you're back! So great to be home. Wherever that's gonna be, we'll make it work. What do you mean, wherever that's gonna be? I'm gonna go call Jade and tell her to do one. Miss? I'm sorry, I've been trying to find the right time to tell you. I sold the pub to pay off your debt. Oh. Bobby. Who's calling you? You. I'm Jade. 